Okay, in this video we're going to go through the closet notes and annotations. So here I have a walk-in, or I'm sorry, reach-in closet with five units. There's two places you can add notes, add net notes. Here you'll see on this page there is an add notes link that will take you to that page. Or if you're inside editing a closet, which we'll do that today, have our five units and on the bottom here there's a little button called uh, add notes. So if I click add notes, it's going to bring up a picture of the wall and my five units. On this page you're going to have uh, some buttons. One's add label, one's add annotation. Add label is fairly simple. It's just really a text box. So if your administrator has set up some pre-filled text boxes, they'll be here. So I can pick shirts and say add label. If I click inside that box, I can change the color. I can change the, the font and the size. I can then grab it by left clicking and holding and moving that to where I want it to be. So if I say put that there, and again I can left click and drag to shrink that box. If you don't have any pre-saved, you're just going to get an empty label like this, and there you can put in the word, let's say pants, and again you can reshape the box if you want, and left and click and drag to where you want it to be. So that's adding two labels to this thing, to this design. If I save it, we don't show it on your design screen because we don't really want to clutter up this page for you. So instead, if we go to print wall, you'll see where those notes show up. And here they are on the 2D print, which is the print that your customer sees. So here we have our pants label and our shirts label. If you want to edit notes, let's see, you want to make a change to that, you click the edit notes button. And it comes back up, everything's preloaded. If you want to change one of these labels, you click inside the box. You can go ahead and change its color if you want, its font, or you can just delete it. So I'm going to delete this pants one and just acknowledge that. Annotations are a little more um, powerful. So if you have some on your list, you can pick them. So let's say we want to put a belt rack, add that annotation. So the annotations come up with a in a circle, and they also have a much uh, bigger edit window, which you have a lot of. Uh, options. This one is all pre-filled out, so all I really need to do is left click, hold, and drag this letter to anywhere I want where I think I'm going to put this bell rack. I then save that, and let's look at the printed page. So your customer with annotations, so labels are just static on the screen, but annotations are actually interactive. So when they roll over that A, they're going to see the description of that annotation. And then when they roll off, it goes away. If you print this, the annotations are then made static and they come out, so the annotation labeling is there. And then on this table, we're going to show annotation A is the lead bell rack and shows the picture. And that would be printed on your printer then. Let's show you how you can get a little more creative with your annotations. So if I wanted to go ahead and add a blank annotation, Let's say I wanted to, and I'm going to drive this B down to the tilt out hamper because maybe the customer doesn't know what that is. I'm going to type in tilt out hamper. And then I'm going to use one of these tools here. This is the picture tool. It's going to give me a, a window that I can then use to choose a file. I choose a file on my computer. I pick the picture of the hamper, and there it is. You can also add videos. So let's say, so I clicked add a new one. So I'm going to move this one down by the drawer boxes, and I'm going to put in a video about the soft close slides. So with this, you click on the video. You can then type in, and I do have a, a link to a YouTube video that I'm going to paste in here, and it's going to say insert that. And I'm going to save that. So let's go back to this 2D print and see what that looks like. So here you have the label, you have the three annotations. So the first one, of course, is the belt rack. The second one is the tilt-out hamper. And the third one is the video. So if I click on this video, it's going to go ahead and play this video. And it'll have music. As you can see, and the customer can go through this video. So that's how that works. So that's, the, uh, that's how you can do your labels and your annotations. And um, we'll have more videos coming soon.